Does White Rose Cloister make Rika tier 1? No. But the deck's more fun though. What is up all you beautiful people? It is I, Akemi TCG, back here with a brand new video. I have not said that in so long. So many things have happened since I've last came onto YouTube. New ban list, and then especially the most important thing that just happened. We finally have White Rose Cloister in the TCG starting in King's Court. How does this affect Rika's? Does White Rose Cloister make Rika tier 1? No. But the deck's more fun though. So for any of you who don't know what White Rose Cloister does, it's a field spell. It lets you special summon a plant from your hand onto the field once per turn, assuming that you do not have any other monsters on the field. And the second effect is kind of irrelevant if you're not playing the Rose version of the deck, so I'm just going to ignore that. But we also have another level 3 plant monster that you can discard it from your hands to the graveyard to search White Rose Cloister. So it's almost like kind of like a Gravekeeper's, I believe it was Commandant. Yeah, it's Commandant. The uh, 1900 beater lets you discard and search. And what's going to happen with that is it has a secondary effect where if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon it and it becomes a tuner. So you can potentially make some hockey fibrax, needle fiber plays, but it opens up a lot of gateways for Rikas. So today, I'm going to showcase pretty much a scrap build I have with it. It's not really, in my opinion, the best build for this particular format with Sky Shirkers running around. So I'm planning on making a control build, a, a pure combo build, a hybrid combo build, and also a going second build, which in my opinion is probably the best way to play this format where you literally, all you do is slap down Lightning Storm, slap down the Kaiju, and then OTK your opponent. Anyways, let's get to it. Also, also, hold up. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akemi TTG. I mostly like playing Rikas, Crusidias, Dragon Mates, and mostly I just want to help you. And also if you want to see some really wacky uh, pack openings where I harm myself for the entertainment of you guys. And uh, yeah. Yeah, you can feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. Guys, we are back here in the den. And just a heads up, I'm going to be showing pretty much my deck profile at the end of the video and just as a disclaimer, as a warning, okay? I'll let you skip to the end of the video. That's completely fine. You can skip to it and see the deck for yourself. But just a heads up, A, it's not finished. And B, I highly recommend watching and seeing what the deck does before you decide to just go with the end and just use the deck profile. Because you have to kind of understand what goes into it. So... Without, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, so I got two clips for you guys, and I'm going to do it step by step just in case you're new to the whole entire Rika shenanigans, okay? So here, in this hand, we have Rika Sheet, White Rose Cloister, Tranquility, Mudan, and Lone Fire. This is absolutely the ideal hand because you can White Rose Cloister, especially some of the Lone Fire, and then you can get started from there. So Cloister, I'm going to use Cloister, special summon the Lone Fire. You don't want to special summon the Moon on here, by the way, because you do not get the effect of the search unless it was summoned by the effect of a plant monster. So if you special summon Moon on off a of White Rose, it will not work, okay? So Lone Fire, you're going to get two Evil Thorns. Go Evil Thorn. Bam, bam. You're going to get that back. So here, you get another card you get glamour you're gonna use glamour to sacrifice the evil thorn to get permula and world carrot weight then permula checks after resolution of the chain was something tributed during that chain it was so therefore you special summon permula and then you go jasmine then you can normal summon carrot weight you can use this after okay you get jasmine back you get lone fire special summon mardell mardell is gonna search you're gonna get generator stage and then you can make some hard plays and then you can set two and pass. This is relatively super super simple as which is ain't drawn to as many traps. It does happen. Some builds you can play one Trincody, one sheet. You kind of just don't want to see it. You only kind of want to see it when you force it with Mudan. That one's pretty simple. 
nothing too crazy there. Now here with Rose Princess, this is the card I was talking about, you get White Rose Cloister. I am playing Prosperity just because you want to dig specific cards in your deck to be able to get you from point A to point B in this particular build. You can choose to play Extrav, but as a heads up, your extra deck is going to be much tighter or you're just going to have to sacrifice a lot of consistency. So I have Prosperity here for 3. During games 2 and 3, you want Prosperity for 6 because you want to dig for your side deck cards. Added Erica here. White Rose Cloister is going to special summon Erica. You can't link off into some Avalon Drives with it, unfortunately. So, here you can Glamour. Tribute to Erica because you're going to use it later. And get Primula and World Care Weight. Now, you can pop off. Because you have Parallel Exceed in your deck, okay? Parallel Exceed is going to special summon. You're going to special summon another copy of it. Now, you're going to go into Strenet. You get the Primula back in your hand. Then, you're going to Normal Summon Petal. At this point in time... You're not going for any more plant plays. I mean, non-plant plays. Parallel Exceed, the only reason why we didn't play it in a specific order is because Rika Petal locks you into plants, okay? Rika Petal and Snowdrop locks you into plants. If you go the Parallel Exceed route you have it in your hand, you want to optimize it by just bypassing this first. After you don't want to summon any other non-plants left, then you summon Rika Petal. Then Rika Petal can get you the search for the Snowdrop and that'll suffice for later. You're gonna go Jasmine, get Lone Fire. You're gonna get Erica, and you're gonna do Erica Chain Link Two, the Chain Block in the Graveyard, and then Chain Link One. You're gonna get Teardrop off of Strenheim. Well, here you can get Hyperton. It would be a little bit better because Snowdrop can always make an eight, but you can't always make a nine. So I would have gotten Hyperton here. By digress here. So Lone Fire sacrifice itself. The reason why you don't want to sacrifice Erica is because it does get banished when it leaves the field okay there's a little star there so that's like the last resort so i should have definitely summoned hyperton here so i'm gonna generate a stage with mardell so we have a negate with heart after so just gonna tribute the mardell here so that's why i should have gotten hyperton because i could have made a nine here and here i could have made a clean eight so i tribute the world care weight the only reason why i'm doing that is because boss stage is on the field it does sound counterintuitive because here I would technically have Hyperton instead of uh, Teardrop and I'll say. So let's say if you're going second, then obviously this board is pretty good. But what's going to happen is Generate Stage is going to activate during the draw phase. You're going to summon Har and Har is going to get you two tokens. You could hypothetically just leave the Carrot Weight on the field and have another Tribute, but it's completely up to you how you want to do it. If I left the Carrot Weight on the field, I would have another Interruption, and Har would have to sacrifice itself in order to negate. Because in order to negate, you need the Har, or you got at least two generated cards. So it would be Har and the two tokens. But you can leave the Carrot Weight on the field if you want as well. So uh, let me kind of explain what's going on here with this build. I didn't tell you guys this. AkemiTCG.com is now a thing. If you want to support the hashtag Umbrella Gang, you want to get your custom Akemi TCG exclusive field centers, it is my artwork. If you want this field center, go on this website down below. Spice up your Rika deck today. Here's my build. Big, re big mess right now. Not completed, but I have a lot of ideas I want to showcase with you guys. And also down below, if you have other ideas too, I know I've covered top tier gaming Yu-Gi-Oh! Up top, I've covered Sorvent with his cool control build. Top tier gaming with his extremely, extremely neat combo build. With Cloyster, in terms of the combo build with uh, top tier gaming, it's gonna be a little bit tricky just because he does play Shatana and he can make really really sick um, Totally awesome plays, but this conflicts with Shatana because you have to control no mosses to be able to use it So you have to kind of pick your battles here But I do thoroughly enjoy the white rose cloister build just because it's so simple To get combos off Rika's needed an extra normal summon or an extra special summon just to go off from the hand onto the field because Quite frankly, a lot of the stuff in the hand just stays in the hand. It's just not nearly as good as like Ad Emancipator where if it's in your hand, you can just special summon it for free. So you're pretty much playing at a huge disadvantage point. And that's why I think Cloyster is immensely helpful. However, it doesn't quite get the deck there because just Cloyster itself isn't going to do much 
for the deck assuming let's say like you draw into like three cloister uh tranquility um a boss stage and a sheet it's just it's just brick it, it just happens there's a huge brick factor with this deck and that's something you have to consider when playing rikas but as part of the umbrella gang we have to stay confident because i believe there's somebody out there one of you guys out there or maybe if one day i just wake up and get an amazing idea that this deck can be much much better than it already is so anyways the parallel exceeds uh probably the most interesting card you're going to see in my particular build is former skipper i've been playing this in crusadias if you don't know what this does is when you summon this uh, not when you summon it but during the main phase you can reveal one link monster in your deck and you treat that card as the same name and the same type. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you may search your deck for a level 5 or higher Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. So basically, the idea is you summon Format Skipper, you copy Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, you link off into it for some Avalon Dryas, then you search for Parallel Exceed. And if you have one more extender in your hand, and you probably already did because of White Rose Cloister, then you're good to go. Oh yeah, there should be one Rose Girl here. Absolutely should be one rose girl here. You didn't see that guys, you didn't see that. <laughs> but some other interesting tech choices is you, you have so many options with the eights now because you can just special summon snowdrop and then normal summon any of the other plants that you have. Wicked easy. You can go Hall Parbinger, you can go Sir Lancelot, you can go Dingirsu. Uh, Dugaris is there just in case you can't extend with Parallel Exceed, that it's a way for you to get and climb up. You can also play Verte Anaconda, you can play Dragoon, you can play Rainbow Neos. There's so many options with this deck. Well, I want you guys to sit down, just really think about what direction you want to take this deck because there's so many ways to play this deck now, especially with uh, White Rose Cloister and Rose Princess. And because we have Lone Fire Blossom at 3, it makes it pretty good. But that's pretty much all I have for this particular video. I am going to work in this build a bit more because I honestly didn't have too much time to make this one. But we're going to figure something out, guys. Umbrella Gang, down below. We're going to figure something out. Hope you all enjoyed the video. My name is Akemi TCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. The world ends now.